Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here and a very happy new year to you from us all here at the Mountain Weather Information Service. This planning outlook video updated on the 1st of January 2019. And to start the new year, it's high pressure that's in charge and will continue to be so for a good few days ahead yet, well into next week even, generally an anticyclonic trend to the weather patterns. Occasional fronts will come around off the Atlantic, mostly weak features to give a bit of rain at times to the west and north of Scotland. The main message is little or no snowfall for the mountains in the foreseeable future. It's when changes develop that we're just watching for now, heading into mid-January. The charts for the short term, though, will be fairly straightforward. High pressure in charge, a very strong area of high pressure, the centre of it around 1,045 millibars, uh, one of the highest pressures we've seen for a good few years. We've got some drier air that's just in place compared to what we've seen recently, so we've got more in the way of sunshine. There'll be some frost overnight these uh, next few nights. There may be some banks of low cloud just around the western coastal hills in Scotland, but for Wednesday, more or less a fair day with light winds and plenty of sun. Now just a weak warm front skirts towards the north and west of Scotland on Thursday. Within that a greater amount of cloud for the west and the northwest highlands. Some banks of low cloud may percolate inland uh, towards the central highlands but little if anything of that managing to make its way into the Cairngorms and more eastern parts of the highlands. For England Wales, uh, right in the middle of the high, it's uh, a benign day. There may be some low-level fog, but essentially the hills should be clear. And uh, a frost uh, in the valleys and the glens, pretty widespread, and most terrain frozen, only thawing just uh, slightly in sunlight. A similar story for Friday. Again, there'll be some low cloud, maybe just around the western hills in Scotland, but uh, with a greater chance for an inversion to be in place, I suspect uh, that many of the tops will be above any low-level cloud or some fog in the valleys and the glens. Again, touch of frost overnight. Some places could see a hard frost if you get the clear skies all the way through. There's not too much wind around, and it's a dry day overall. Looking pretty similar into Saturday, the high just shuffling southwards a touch and fronts off the Atlantic are starting to encroach in. It may be that western mountains in Scotland start to fill in with cloud a bit more. Otherwise, most eastern and central parts of the highlands and most of England and Wales, apart from just some low-level valley fog, it should be another fine day with lots of sunshine. And again, the winds are looking pretty light. They may just begin to strengthen in the far northwest of Scotland as those fronts edge in. And we just need to keep an eye on the details for the weekend. There's a chance that as those fronts pass to the north that the winds may be a bit stronger, but you can see that the main high is still in charge. It's still at the central pressure around 1,040 millibars, so it's a strong feature. It's not being pushed out of the way very easily, and the fronts that are getting into it are only very weak. What it could just do, though, is topple more in the way of low cloud across the country with a more moist atmosphere that's uh, within the wedge between the warm and the cold front. So there could be more in the way of cloud overall. Um, some tops may still be above uh, the lower level cloud. Some areas may see cloud covering the higher top. So a bit of a mixture, I think, by the time we get to this stage. Lower confidence of details. Bits of drizzly rain possible around the north and west of Scotland, but amounting to very little. So where do we go next? Well, as we go forwards into next week, basically, we're still in the same sort of pattern. The high is uh, centred somewhere across central, southwestern parts of the British Isles. The flow around the high is drawing in still a fairly mild air mass uh, from the mid-Atlantic. So it's a warm high, really. It's not drawing any Arctic or Siberian air masses towards us at this stage. So any frost at low levels will be always mixed with temperatures on the hills, generally above freezing with those inversion type setups in place. As we go onwards then, we're likely to see the high still more or less in charge for a few days. We'll see uh, fronts, mostly weak features, toppling around the high. There might be the odd day which turns windier across the highlands if we get a bit of a squeeze that just runs across the north of the country. A bit like what we saw really through Christmas up to New Year where the winds occasionally did strengthen even towards gale force. Overall, it's a fairly settled pattern, though. Any uh, rainfall amounts looking pretty small and little or no snow in the forecast overall. And as we just try and roll towards the weekend of the 12th and 13th, the only real change is that the high shows as being a bit further away towards the south and a greater chance maybe of just something coming around off the Atlantic and possibly with time more of a west by northwesterly. And if that sets up, we could just start to draw some colder air masses around uh, from the northwest, say from Iceland and Greenland. 
It's not an easy one when these big high pressure systems get in just to deduce how the pattern will eventually break down. So keep an eye on the forecast. We'll uh, see how things develop and update you in the next planning video by the end of the week. Thanks for watching today. Bye for now.